little morning. Trying to pop those videos out for you. YouTube got mad at me. Literally, it kind of scolded me on one of my apps where I was like, this is the reason why you don't have enough views or less views than normal. You've only posted two videos. I don't work for you, YouTube. You're not my boss of me. You don't own me. Hey, this is Lorena, and I wanted to do a long arm quilting work day. But in this video, I kind of wanted to share two quilts that I worked on, and one had hand embroidery on it, and another one had hand applique, and the hand applique were butterflies. I kind of want to highlight these two quilts because they were antique, one, and two, my client asked me specifically, can you long arm these quilts, especially the antique quilt itself? And the answer is yes, and so I'm going to go ahead and go to the clip of the work day in progress, progress, <laughs> progress, and uh, I'll see you on the next clips, okay? I just came up here, honestly, to start working on this beautiful antique quilt. This quilt is hand embroidered, and she's beautiful. And the client just wants a regular poncho to go through the quilt. Uh, and you can see that the long arm can go through all this beautiful hand embroidery. This fabric is antique. I don't know what date she is, but she is antique. And the back fabric came with the quilt. Whoever stored them, stored them well. Look at this, a hummingbird, cardinal. And it's just repeated all the way through. It's a beautiful filigree pattern. She's pretty right. There's a bird, there's a bird, there's a bird. And I'm gonna be quilting her and just trying to get her done. I've gotten a couple things done and I'll show you what else I got done. I have some weird neighbors. <laughs> really weird, okay. They're like, okay. All right, let's talk about this sweet pink quilt. I didn't film me long arming it because I had such a busy day that day. I think that day I worked from eight in the morning till probably like eight at night. And sometimes it gets kind of exhausting turning on the camera because it's not only doing the job itself but doing the YouTube job thing. So this quilt is an antique pink quilt that had hand applique butterflies. I wanted to share just the quilt itself when it was hanging on the long arm and also share some clips of what it looked like quilted. You can quilt applique and you can quilt hand embroidery. You could see how beautiful it quilted. These antique... <laughs> the more densely quilted these antique quilts are quilted, the better they tend to be more secure. They tend to last longer too. I got another, um, ever since I got this camera, I'm like really scared to prop her like on different areas. So I tend to carry her because <laughs> she's expensive. So I got one of these to where I've noticed that I'm only filming like from far, which before I got close angles and far angles. So I got one of these. This is one of my favorite stands. So if you're a filmer, because it has this on it and it clicks on and off. And I already have one of these on the camera. So I could stand this anywhere in the room. And I just snap her in here. And now I can move you. Well, good afternoon. <laughs> okay, <laughs> today I am extremely busy. So, <laughs> I have laser, work for my laser, work for embroidery, and I have work to do up here. <sighs> um, let me see. Hey, <sighs> I just run up here. Mama's tired, okay. 
what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this quilt going my client said that this quilt was a bad juju quilt so we're gonna uh, exercise her remove all the demons plead the blood of Jesus speak blessings on the thing because I don't want problems when I'm quilting this quilt because I'm gonna also while this is quilting I'm gonna run downstairs and what I'm gonna do downstairs I have some embroidery work I have to do and I just brought look you want to see what I got I went and I ordered some stuff you know when I did the video on zipper leaders, I wanted to make sure that I was sending you to the right place and I went and looked up on Gamel because Gamel is not supporting Linda's Electric Quilting anymore for some reason, but I guess Linda's Electric Quilting is still supplying our community for Gamel with stuff, I guess. So. I was looking for zipper leaders at Gamel and they are not available. They don't even have nothing. And I went into a panic and I got a box full of zippers and I got these at Linda's Electric Quilting. I ended up getting some yellow canvas because I wanted to make more leaders because of the work. I'm dealing with right now I want to do a lot of prep work and get the quilts ready and I also got a bobbin case so I got enough of to make 10 canvas leaders and just in case Linda doesn't want to sell them anymore I got extra that's a kind of crazy psycho person I am buy more just in case something happened I, honestly it really benefited me when COVID happened I went crazy buying batting at Joann's because it was like 50% off, 75% off. So I spent like $500 on batting and COVID happened. And a lot of my clients were getting the quilts done because now they had time. And they're like, well, I don't have batting, but I had like $500 worth of batting. And so because I went crazy and bought extra just in case something happened like COVID, uh, you know, I didn't think about that. I had enough and it really saved me through that season because Joann's was completely closed for quite a while and I was still kind of making money and quilting quilts for people because I bought extra. So just in case Linda doesn't have these no more, I have extra just in case something happens with my leaders. I can replace them and fix them. But at this time, I'm gonna pray for this quilt, play the blood of Jesus, ask Jesus to come and minister to it and put blessings and blessings and blessings on it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and um, start quilting it and go downstairs and embroidery. So today is gonna to be a, I don't know if I'm gonna do a flip flop video where you see me running up and down. But well, I don't know, we'll see. It's, it's cold out here, it's still like 36, but it's not freezing. So if I run up and down, I'm not gonna kill myself. Like I almost did the other day, so yeah, it's good. We're gonna have a fun time, okay? You, you're gonna see me labor work. Better work? Okay, thank you. See you, ma'am. And I do that with everything, okay? I bought extra these because they disappeared and I couldn't get any more and I need them for my, I use these for my embroidery and I use them for my scissors and everything. So it never hurts to buy a little extra, just a little. I love these, they disappeared. So I bought extra of those. So I printed more of these cause I didn't have any more. And I used to have like a thing of notes but I could still write notes back there. But this is like the sheet I have my clients fill out. And lately I've been having them fill it out on a regular piece of paper. But you know, it, it works. Either way it works.
So now I'm gonna go downstairs and start working on embroidery. The client's quilt that she said it was bad juju, I, you know, I guess where she says it was bad juju is where she's saying that she ended up having unstitch and restitch and rework the quilt constantly and sometimes it's very frustrating and she said that's why it was a bad juju quilt because she had to keep on working on it even it, it, she just struggled but the quilt quilted really beautifully Rebecca Mitchell sent me a ladybug that was a little vacuum when I was working on her bad juju quilt <laughs> What I love about this is I sent her pictures of the vacuum because it just made my day. When I went downstairs, I was extremely exhausted and just was worn because it was like two days of just constant work. I want to thank you, Rebecca, for sending me, me this ladybug. I took her on a ride in my car. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I just I just want to thank you for just the sweet gift of when I talked about ladybugs on my YouTube channel, she sent me a ladybug vacuum. And uh, I treasure this little gift. So I appreciate ya and talk to you later. Bye. <laughs>